So I wanted to share a little video about these uh, horizontal work holding clamps that I came up with. Um, after ruining a piece of wood, I don't have it here, um, because it slid sideways, I, you know, I usually use double-sided tape to hold things down and keep the lateral motion from happening. And in this one case, I didn't, and I tried to use these clamps and hold it down, and I thought I had enough pressure, and of course it pivoted and slid. And I finally got fed up with that and I was thinking, you know, you really, if you have things on the side just holding it there, you don't even need much pressure. It just has to be a tight fit and things won't rotate and they won't slide. So I'm probably going to print a couple more of these and actually put them vertically so I could actually do all four sides. Um, but for right now, maybe do three sides and then one clamp holding it down. So for this, um, basically I made, I have, my mounting holes are... Uh, uh, 10 centimeters, is that right? Yeah, 10 centimeters horizontally and 9 centimeters vertically. So what I did is I made a, a collection of um, slots so that this will allow the vertical and then the outer ones will allow the, uh, or vice versa, this will allow the horizontal and this will allow the vertical. So anyway, uh, one cool thing is I finally forced myself to learn some Fusion 360 and design these there. So this model is parametric. So if I adjust the slot width, or I adjust the, the, the distance between the slots, or the height of this, or whatever, I just type in a new number and it all adjusts, which is really cool. So if anyone sees this and wants me to generate a different model for different slot lengths or whatever, just send me a note. It should just take me a couple seconds. Um, and Fusion 360 also has some way to share models. I've never done it, but uh, theoretically we could do that too. Okay, anyway, this is my uh, Shapeoko 2 uh, horizontal work holding clamps. I can show you how it works. Some wood that I'm working with, some red oak. And so I've already set it up for a different piece, but you can see that it, you know, I, I had set it up and it's very tight in that direction. Now it's loose in this direction, so I'll use my double-sided tape again to help. And I'll also use these to um, hold down the corners just a little bit and make sure that it doesn't pop up in any way. But that's been working really well. And it frees up this corner to zero on, which I really like. The other thing that I wanted is I didn't want it to be very tall. I saw some like this that were similar, but they were kind of tall, and I didn't want to worry about my vacuum hitting it or the bit hitting it or whatever, so I wanted it to be short. So these are only a half inch tall, which I think is good enough for a lot of things. So anyway, if you find this useful, uh, feel free to use it or let me know if there's something I can do to uh, help you make some for your wasteboard.